And let's start out with an informal greeting from me to you. What's happening? What's up? I haven't really done that in these little like short videos that I've been just filming on my iPhone, but uh, I thought, why not? Let me do that today. So here I am again, and I wanted to just touch on a subject. So I came across a post today, and I thought that it would be good for me to really talk about this in video form because I did answer that specific question, but it was a friend asking how to help her friend that just came out that's having a lot of trouble because now her mom knows and her mom happens to be a teacher, and now the kids in her class are bullying her, telling her stuff, and, and they're constantly just being rude to the teacher, you know, her mom and stuff. Shit's just hitting the fan, I guess we could say. So one, it made me extremely sad to see that this shit still goes on. It's not surprising, okay? It's just sad because I just think like, where in these like, I just wish everybody could just get along. I wish these kids would realize how much more of a satisfaction, a true satisfaction. Hold on. Sorry, it's cause there's this little birdie family in the back that have a a nest in the orange tree in my backyard and the other day a crow was trying to get to the little nest eggs. The eggs in the nest. We've been trying to make sure that doesn't happen because they were literally fighting it off and stuff so I had ran out there to try and use my the size of my body to be like, no! And then the crow like flew off and the little birds were literally flying. Like literally the bird is like this small and the crow is like that big and like it was flying after and like trying to attack it and it was biting its wings and clipping its tail and stuff so like they were like literally fighting for some time anyways but the crow went away and i mean i'm assuming it's the mom and the dad or the mom and the mom or the dad and that i don't know i don't know how the relationship statuses work they came back to the nest and everything was all nice and jolly so i've just been keeping an eye out back to what i was saying because i'm getting off topic i just wish these kids would realize how much more of a true satisfaction it would be to really go to the girl and say hey you know i heard that you came out and i just wanted to say that if you ever need anybody to talk to i'm here or something you know what i mean like instead of going and antagonizing the teacher or just being rude like ah, I just ah. If you are the, that one person that goes up to them and are caring about it rather than being rude and harassing them, pat yourself on the back because it's truly amazing to see others stand up for others. And I think we need a lot more of that, especially in schools. It's a sad thing, but we just need more to stand up for others. And if you do know somebody or you do see somebody, please do stand by them. It doesn't mean you have to confront the other person that's being a bully or be violent or anything. I don't ever condone that. It's just always nice to know that there is somebody who is supporting you and it has your back especially when you just come out perhaps that person feels like there's absolutely nobody else and they're all alone so it's always nice to see that support and it doesn't take a lot so I just wanted to pass that on but back to what I was saying the girl asked how can I help my friend or what can I say to her to make her better so I mentioned you should be very proud of yourself as a friend because you are a true friend because a true friend worries about their friends and worries about how they're dealing with things and worries about how they're gonna help and they want to help they genuinely want to help from the bottom of their heart anyway so I said the first thing you can definitely do is tell her straight up I said support you I'm here for you if you ever need to talk if you ever need anything please know that you can count on me that's great that, that she has that support and then I told her that she has to really tell her friend that she needs to change that mindset if you have a mindset where you allow the opinions of others to really affect you and hurt you and rule your thoughts and control your emotions and feelings and actions you're gonna lose you're gonna always be losing to them but if you change that and you realize that you have the power to not let any of that hurt you or get to you or any of that Shake it off. Don't pay attention to these people. I told her to remind her that all of these kids that are antagonizing and that are saying rude things and that are saying mean things are only self-projecting all of the things that they feel inside, all of their insecurities that they feel within themselves. They're projecting it onto her. And so I said, have empathy for those kids. Yeah, then maybe they're going about it the wrong way, but you should always be the bigger person. There's no need to go back and bully the bully. If I were talking to her, I would tell her all that and I would say, you just need to change your mindset like I know I say this so much but it's the absolute truth you have to change your outlook on life you have to understand that you're allowing others to control your life the opinions of others not facts the opinions of others to control your life your actions your feelings that should never be allowed you should only be the one to control your feelings your emotions your actions etc etc and I think you should focus on on the things that really do make you happy and do a lot more of the things that make you genuinely happy and you genuinely love focus on that don't give these kids anytime don't pay mind to them don't pay attention to them the more you pay attention to them the more they will continue to do this eventually if you don't and you show them that you love yourself no matter what they say that you whatever they say has
has no absolute no effect on you and I know that's gonna be hard because your mom is gonna be the one who's probably telling you stuff as well but you need to understand that you are your number one support system here and you have to pull yourself through you have to push yourself through you've got to do it for you only you can really find that within yourself to get ahead and get to the places where you want to get to so as long as you don't let these kids get to you and they're gonna eventually back off because they're gonna see that it's not really working and it's seriously just a waste of time this is only temporary it's not meant to stay here forever yes life is gonna throw you all kinds of obstacles and this is the obstacle that you're dealing with right now but as I said and I have been saying you have every single thing that you need within yourself to get through anything and everything that life has in store for you we're all equipped the same way you just gotta believe in yourself you have to find that and you have to want to your number one armor is your self-love you have to give yourself that love you gotta learn to love yourself wholeheartedly unconditionally when you begin to do that and you truly do that and you don't cheat yourself out of that no matter who it is that cannot accept you the most important people in your life no matter who it is you're gonna see that it's not gonna matter because you have everything that you need to give yourself support love acceptance you have it to give it to yourself first you honestly don't need anybody else to give that to you I mean yes it's great it's awesome and yes when we're young that's what we think we need but as you get older and you start seeing and you start living life you realize it starts with us first in order for us to accept anybody's acceptance love unconditional support you have to love yourself first let go of the negativity it's okay that you allow them to hurt you don't beat yourself up about it look at it this way this served as a lesson and an eye-opening experience to really push you to love yourself know that you're deserving of that love and more than that but you need to start with yourself one more thing it's great that you have the support from your friend you know take that very seriously take it to heart keep those true friends close and let go of all the other ones who say they're your friends and their actions honestly don't show it you just gotta accept yourself anyway so yeah Thank you so much for listening. And if you do get a chance, you know anybody that needs to listen to this, any of your school friends, any of your adult friends, whatever, I don't know what age you guys are watching this, but whoever it is, if you know somebody who could really, really benefit from this video, please do share it with them. We need a lot more people in this world, honestly, just sharing and loving and helping because man, there's a lot of broken hearts out there that could easily be fixed by just listening to somebody's words, somebody's encouragement, somebody's motivation. And um, I think a lot of us are not taking the time to do that, to share. And we we definitely need more more of that more help no matter what it is if it's even in the form of writing or in a video or an audio message whatever it can be just extend a hand you never know who you could be helping and with helping comes those beautiful feelings inside that just want to say thank you again and I'll see you in the next video and remember if there's one thing that I want to call to mind there are actually three no matter the highs the lows always be sure always be certain to do good be grateful and stay humble see ya bye